getting rebaited here right now after Ryan just lost that fish and created my own little spawn sack here with the fish nip in it once again. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. But I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on the setup that we're using. So Ryan has hooked two fish, landed one, and Jason just missed that one on this bobber setup. You guys are both baiting up and it gives me a little time to catch up with them. <laughs> so what we have going on here, when you're out here bobber fishing, is you want about eight and a half to nine foot long rod. A bait caster reel is nice, but not necessary. You can also just use a spinning reel, which has become popular here lately, just because they're a little bit easier to use, less backlashes. This rod here is actually a nine foot three rod. I like it just because it's perfect action for casting long distances, especially heavy weights, but has plenty of backbone to set the hook from a little bit further away. Braid line is a must when you're bobber fishing. This is 65 pound maximum braid eight. I like the 65 pound because it floats on top of the surface. You definitely don't need 65 pound. You can sink down to 50, but I just do this for diameter because again, the little bit thicker diameter keeps it up on the surface. From there, we go down our line to our bobber. This is a fish field three ounce bobber. And we're using these larger bobbers because we're fishing faster water and deeper water. From here, I have two egg sinkers. And I actually have four ounces of lead down here on the bottom. And the reason why is because I want this bobber just barely sitting above the surface. These Chinook can bite really, really light, very subtle bite. So instead of it sitting right here at the water line with three ounces, I add an extra ounce and bring that up a little bit higher so I can see the slightest little bite. On down below our leads, I have a fish field chain swivel. These are the tornado chain swivels here and I've been really happy with them. I like that it has a few more points where it can spin. When you're running baits, they tend to spin up down there. The last thing you want to do is twist up your line. The leader line that I'm running here, this is 20 pound maximum fluorocarbon. Do we need fluorocarbon out here? Not necessarily, just because it's a little bit milky water. But I have been running 30 pound ultra green and Ryan got bit twice on the 20 pound maximum fluorocarbon. So I downsized and went to fluorocarbon as well. On the bottom here, that's a three aught fish field single point hook, octopus style bend, and it has a cutting point as well. And then of course the bait is fish nip with a few little added oils and a little bit of sand shrimp and sardine in there. Give these fish a little bit different look. Oh, they're already fishing again, dang it. See if I can go pick one out from between them. 